right, American people, listen. I got. I, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I just hit record. I just hit record. You catching me in my natural element right now, okay? I, I was doing a fire, trying to make it all cozy and everything for my wife, all right? But listen, she had to run out to the store. Her and HJ ran out, and um, I told her I got to go to the store as well. We're going two different directions. But I hit record because I'm thinking about running out real quick and hit the lake just to test it. You got to tease it sometimes, okay? You ever get that feeling where you just... I just got to hit the lake. I don't care if I catch something. I don't care if I don't. I got to hit the lake. That's how I'm feeling right now. I walked outside to actually go to the store. Like I told her I was going because I don't lie to my wife. Okay. I was going to the store, but it hit me. Okay. It said, Croppy, tell you what it say, baby. Come to the lake. Come to the lake. Come to the lake. Come to the lake. And that's what I got to do. So I'm hitting record right now. I'm going to run out to the lake and I'm going to test it. And I'm going to try to get back before my wife get back and be sitting right here. <laughs> All right, let's go try it. All right, if I get something, then I'll hit record. All right, let's do it. One more, y'all. And that's it. I'm out of here. Strike zone. Find the crappie strike zone. This is how you find it. Look for casting points at first. Look for things that identify as a crappie place. Okay. Once you identify the crappie place, okay, cast there. From that middle center point, you want to be all around there. Work it and work it slow. Try right up in here and see what's happening. It's a little, it's cold, it's cold, y'all. So I don't know. <sighs> oh, yeah. Cold water and all. I put that. I put that. Um. Put that bumblebee on it, y'all. All right, y'all. See, look. I'm telling you, I'm only two feet. It's cold. It's cold out here. Cold. Cold, man, cold. They still still can catch them like that. I'm telling you. I hope y'all can see it. I got this camera on my head because my hands are cold. But. All right. All right. I'm just going to stick them wherever I can. I ain't putting them. I'm just going to. I ain't even supposed to be out here, y'all. Actually, I'm telling you the truth. See, you got to always have a casting point. My casting point is right here. I, I separate deep from shallow by casting points, okay? And, okay, that, that's the line I want to be on right there. I want to be on that line. That's, my, that's, that's a line that I consider the line between deep water, shallow, going into shallow. But I want to, I want to, I want to be this angle so I can pull. I want my jig to, be, to come back this way. I don't want it going out that way. See, ooh, did I get hit? I got hit. Now what I'm noticing there's a little line. Okay, okay, something hit it right there. Something hit it. What I'm noticing? Oh, what I tell you? Oh, look at that. That is that a bass? Oh my God! What is that? A bass? A blue? 
That is a crappie, ain't it? He, whoa, man. Okay, look at that. Fat rascal. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Fat joker. I thought that was a bass. Look at that. Uh, baby, my hands are cold and everything now, so don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me now. You know there's some good eating. I'm saving us some I'm saving us some money. Alright, that's a good spot. But I want to turn this way. Cause I like to I like to I like to come back from this way. Oh my god. Okay. I see. I see. I see. See? Sometimes that's good when you miss them because it lets you know something. You got to use everything for good, okay? All right, listen, y'all. Listen, this going to sound crazy, okay, for this time of year, okay, cold weather. I'm actually fishing too deep, okay? I missed that last one. I missed two of them, and I, and I figured out why, okay? This happens sometimes. When you fishing a little bit below them, when you jig it, your jig come up to where their mouth is, but it drops down. Come up, and it drops down, okay? Sometimes when they come up and they bite it, they don't have nowhere to go because you already at the bottom of it. So I'm going to come up a little bit so when he comes up to hit it, he he, he has a place to go down with it and basically hook himself. Watch. watch, watch. I bet, I bet y'all won't miss this one. Watch this. Okay. Okay. Okay, listen. I'm going to move out the way. I'm going to move out the way. A lot of snags now. I'm going to take my time. What I tell you? I told you I ain't going to miss that one. Why? Because he's going to have a place to go with it. Look at that. Nice one, too. Oh, my God. Woo! Woo! Ta-da! I told you. Listen. I've been doing this for 40 years. <laughs> Boy, I'm going to get in trouble! I ain't even supposed to be out here fishing, man. Best thing I can do is hurry up and get a few more. Buy the best batter in town and fry them up and ho hopefully she get lost in the sauce. I ain't even supposed to be out here. Woo, boy, I tell you. It's hard, I'm telling you. Ladies, if y'all got a man that fish, okay? If y'all got a man that fish, he loves fishing. Let me, let me, let me tell you something. It's a whole lot of other things he could be doing. It's a whole lot of other things he could be doing. All that man want to do is cast a pole into some water. You know, some of them don't even care if they catch some or not. Just let be out on that water, okay? Let, let him go fishing, okay? Because listen, let me tell y'all something. There's a saying that people say, it ain't true with fishing. It's always tomorrow. People always, well, there's always tomorrow. No, it ain't. Not with fishing. No, it ain't. If you don't go when you know you should go, it, shoot, you might not be able to catch that until next year. <laughs> I know y'all know what I'm talking about. I might just start running when that phone rings because I can't let her hear this outdoor sound. Can't let her hear this outdoor sound. She start hearing them birds and stuff. She can smell that water on the phone. Listen, man, right now would be a real good time if you haven't subscribed to go ahead and subscribe. If you do subscribe, go ahead and hit that bell so you can get all the videos that we put out, all right? Hit that bell up and say all. Hit like for me if you can. Leave a um, comment, any questions or anything like that. And um, I'm going to catch one more and then I'm going to call my wife, all right? I'm going to call. I don't want y'all thinking I lie to my wife. Cause I, don't, I don't lie to my wife. I don't always tell her what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie. Look at that. What I tell you? Taking your time. Just take your time. Look at that. 
Bumblebee, y'all. Let's make this video right now. Uh, subscribers and viewers, we appreciate you. Okay, what I want to do right now is uh, pick a number one through 100, and uh, we're going to send you a pack of jigs. Uh, we got a, there's going to be a number, whatever the number is, and uh, we'll let you know you want. Pick a number one through 100, and we want to send you a pack of jigs and a, a, and a sticker. All right? We appreciate y'all. Oh, man, it's starting to, starting to sleet or whatever. All right, that's it. Oh, man, I keep stepping too far out. Man, Lord have mercy. I done got hung just as many time, as many fish I got, I tell you that much. All right. Just want to show you that you can get them in cold weather, okay? All right, you can you can get them, all right? And I, I apologize if, if I'm if I'm talking too much, okay? Because I ain't got nobody out here with me, okay? American people, this is just a a day of really enjoying it. Cause it'll shut it'll shut off. You ain't gonna be able to do that. You ain't gonna be able to do that all year. You just gotta follow. You gotta follow it. You gotta know. You gotta follow it. You gotta know. You gotta move like crappies. If you wanna be a person that don't wanna move, then you 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 you, you pro crappie probably ain't your fish. <laughs> you know, crappie move around, they stay suspended and so forth. So you gotta, you gotta be the same way. You gotta, crappie fishing is about adjustments, you know. It's all about adjustments. So I don't like a lot of change, but I know it's about adjustments. So what I do is I fish for crappie based on what I know they like. Profile, color, movement. Everything like that. I, I, I'm generally going to stay in that ballpark to increase my chances on just crappie behavior, understanding crappie behavior. You know, it's like it's like a dating game. You know, if it was a dating game and somebody was, you know, a dating service, whatever, was hooking somebody up for you. Well, they going to go off of what you say you like. You know what I'm saying? You like long hair. You like short hair. You know, brown skin, light skin, white skin, black skin, whatever you like. That's what they, sh that, that increases the possibility of a hookup. So that's what I'm doing. These crappies, they like jig tails. Crappie snipers to be exact. Okay, I like that spot. Oh, I like that spot. Now listen, y'all. This is what I'm talking about. When I was sitting by the fireplace, and I'm thinking about, man, I'm thinking about coming. That's why I started recording. Because I was I'm saying, man, this is gonna be the intro. I'm thinking about coming fishing and just 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 go out there. I go out, I smell that air. Woo! I say, man, it smells like some crappies are hit today. Look at that. Look at that. Wouldn't even looking, y'all know it. Look at that, man. Look at that, man. Black crappies love cold weather. I'm telling you, they love it. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that, y'all. Fillets, man. I feel to get out of here, though. I'm not gonna let y'all get. Don't let your friends get you in trouble. All right. You know what I'm saying? Don't 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 let your friends break up a happy home. But I do want to say, listen. Let 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 your husband go out and fish on the days he know he got to get out there. Let your wife fish on the days you she know that she got to get out there. Come on now, y'all know I got a fishing wife. But I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you, she t on the screen on this TV screen, but she could be Pistol Pete any any day. Listen, y'all. How I choose to go, whether it's cold or hot or whatever. If it's if it's extremely cold, I try to I try to do a 10-day forecast and I look for the warmest day in those 10 days. Okay, that's what I do. Alright? Nope.
Nope, I don't even want to chance that. That's how you fish. Shoot. I'm going for the strike zone. Now what I'm doing is, I don't like that spot. That's not where I want to be. That's a harder, it's like it takes more time to get a hit. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not into that. Oh. Look at that, see? Spot matter. Look at you see how I just moved that? I moved it over three feet. Look at that. See? Three feet. See? See? Just, just cause I didn't like that spot. It's not in the strike zone. The strike zone to me, well, I can't really give it a, a space. I can't really give it a space because it all determines on what I see. But I'm running out of branches. Um I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, listen. Okay, when you find that strike zone, do not be quick to come out of it. Okay, maybe that'd be the title of this video: finding the crappie strike zone. Once you catch one, remember where you got them. Okay, remember what depth you got them. Remember where you, the vicinity, and then find you a point, a stick, or something, and carve out a ten feet radius and work it left right be, be, behind it before it that's how you pick up a lot more now I'm now watch now watch I'm gonna try to do the same thing but I'm gonna stay in that vicinity oh. See, now, I'm moving that. I'm moving it. See, it's outside of my box. It's outside of my little box I'm working in. Matter of fact, it might be it might be more like a six-foot radius right now. Nope. See, I did it again. So, nope. I'm not going to even test it. Okay. I want to stay in that range. Okay, now I'm a little bit, look, see, see, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, that's a big one, that's a big one, look at that, oh my God, what did I just say, find that strike zone, find that strike zone, no sonar, no fish finder, none of that, you can find it, you, but you do have to, you, it's important that you catch one. How you find, how do you find that one? Okay, you gotta look at things. That's why I tell y'all, I think I'm crazy, but I, I I really do fish this way. I look at trees. Everywhere I go, I know where the tree, I know what type of trees around. I know it's cherry wood around here. I know the other spot is oak. I know the other spot is um, maple, okay? Then I got a spot that got sycamore trees. Why? I wanna know how high they grow, when they fall down, what's up, you know. Some trees are harder to move. It take a flood to move them trees, so they down there. But some of them are easy to move, so you, that structure is not permanent. So that's how you find, where would they be? Okay, so I got to get out of here. Strike zone, the strike zone of a crappie is where his mouth is, straight out and straight up, okay? It's like a L, 90 degree angle, straight out or straight up, okay? Oh, Lord. That's going to go right under. I'm in the middle of my strike zone. In the middle. I'm going to just tap it one time. I'm going to tap it one time. Oh, he hit it, too. See that? He hit it. Hold on. I'm still in the strike zone. I'm still I'm still on the edge of my strike zone. So I'm going to move it kind of slow. All right. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving outside my strike zone a little bit here. Just a little bit. Look at that, right at the edge of it. <laughs> boy, this just this, this, this can't get, boy, ain't nothing like it. It just ain't nothing like it. it just ain't nothing like it. I'm sorry, y'all, if I'm a little bit too excited for y'all. 
you know, I, I, I apologize because I know how people be. You know, he having fun. Dislike, dislike, dislike. He having too much fun. I don't like it. Crazy. So could y'all please put, hit like for me. All right. For those who come along and don't like people having fun and, you know, fishing with their wife. What a crazy concept. Fishing with his wife. What is he out here doing? He's destroying the sport. Fishing with his wife and kids. <laughs> One thing I forgot to mention, y'all see my hook? What I do is, sometimes I smash that hook down some more, create that smaller gauge so it won't get hooked so fast on other things when you're fishing snags, okay? I'm talking about I gotta get on out of here though my wife did text me she said I'm headed home that's what she said I'm headed back that's what she said headed back well so am I all right y'all y'all know I, I man y'all know I want to get one more y'all know I do y'all know I do should I do it should I do it see you know why you got to get one more because you never know when you're gonna be able to come back You'll never know. Huh? you never know. That's what I call a crappie tree. Y'all see that? Find the crappie strike zone, and you will pluck them out just like that. Okay, listen, American people. I beat, I beat T back home, so she don't even know I left yet. She don't even know I left, okay? Listen, I went and put the fish in the bucket. Oh, yeah, your butt went back fishing. <laughs> <laughs> what? Surprise! Surprise! Huh? He went back fishing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He put our butts back to fishing. Hey, Daddy. Hey, 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 uh, hey, MJ. Suck in your meat. Yeah. <laughs> now she knows. Uh, say it. Crappie Town USA, baby. Crappie Town USA. Alright. You gonna say it? 